You don't happen to have like four extra pens, do you? My name's Rachel. This is my best friend, Darcy. Darcy, this is Dad. I know. I've only been talking about him for nine months. Ask Rachel out on a date. Darcy, we're just friends. Friend that asked me out. I'm gonna take off. Rachel, I just want to make sure you were okay. Oh, yeah. That was the night I let true love slip away. Now, six years later, She's having her bridal moment. You okay, Dar? No, I'm fine. I want to cry on the day, so I want to check my mascaras, make sure it doesn't run. Something borrowed. Why don't y'all borrow some goddamn common sense? Borrow Fuck some, this movie. Borrow Fuck some balls. <laughs> <laughs> what? This will be the first ever spill review that we just start with our rating <laughs> no, and this, then go into the review. This movie made me fucking furious. I have to admit that. Wow. I'm just watching I, it. I, I'd, like to, I'd like for you to explore that. Um, it, it made me realize that wow, the therapist is like, please, what, what, how does this really make you feel? Whatever you do in a film, only because it's there on the on silver screen, doesn't mean that you can uh, try to influence the audience on your bullshit beliefs, which is thinking that there you can justify betrayal of your best friend. I don't buy that shit. Nobody else should buy into this. Nobody should buy a ticket for this kind of no, shit. Wait, and that kind of shit should not be allowed to be running through Hollywood being turned into fucking films where there's all other kinds of people struggling day and night trying to get real stories with something real something real to say up on the screen. And this shit, I don't know who the fuck is in charge of, of getting this kind of shit past producers, past Hollywood. To get on a silver screen. But, Do you remember? You remember when he was dating that Commodore sixty four? Uh, <laughs> cheated on him with the pocket calculator. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a pie hole. <laughs> now, now, now co-host, I, you, you make a, a you know a salient point, but have you considered what if your best friend is an asshole? I got plenty of assholes <laughs> running around me, but still, it, no. it, 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 it does not take me to this place that this movie went. Coast, you're I'm absolutely sorry. right. That's the problem: is that the film wants to make. Kate Hudson's character, who is the best friend, who's getting married to to stud boy. Yeah. I don't know and the let actor's us say, name. Let's say let childhood. Just, let's, to, say, let's just say not only a best friend, but a childhood yeah, best friend. It's such an unbelievable bitch throughout this whole film that that should be enough to forgive the way that the other two characters who are having an affair, her mm -hmm. best friend and this guy, the way they act. And even so, it's not. It mm. really isn't. I mean, I think the movie is even cognizant of that on some level, but mm. not enough. To, to to really do anything about mm. it, I could buy it if it was a little more believable. Like I said, these people or just weren't. At all. Oh yeah, these people just weren't stupid. I mean, these people mm. are just. I mean, for to have characters who have gone to law school, which they make a big deal out of, these people just do not use their brains. They're the most oblivious people to what is happening in front of them. So in the film, and this is based on a novel, so I don't know how different the novel is from this. I don't know if there were chunks taken out that just make these characters seem a little more dumb than what they would probably be in the book, but you got Jennifer Goodwin who plays Rachel. You got Kate Hudson who's Darcy. Rachel and Darcy are best friends. Rachel has another friend that she, that she has uh, in school that she studies with. Uh, Colin Egglesfield is the hottie that you're talking yeah, about the here. Bizarro, the stud. Yeah, the, the Tom Cruise Jr. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Who Which plays, is appropriate yeah. because she's a fetal Katie Holmes. Pretty <laughs> yeah. much. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Yeah, I know she is. Uh, who plays Dex in the movie. Rachel has a thing for Dex. And it's obvious that Dex has a thing for Rachel. I mean, they sit around and they joke at each other. They make eyes at each other. They're doing everything but giving each other, like, like whacking each other off under the table. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yes. I mean, yes. they, yeah, but, but really. The, they, the, minute, the minute Dex shows any kind of interest in uh, Rachel, she's like, oh, no, no, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm going to do it. Maybe, maybe you should talk to my hot friend, you know, she's, oh, well, well, you know, like, is anyone actually that stupid? Well, like, no, we don't yeah, know. I mean, it's like, know. I mean, it's that annoying kind of, of love, too. I mean, because it is love for them. I mean, you ever see that couple where they just go around just giggling? <laughs> you just like, y'all shut the fuck up. They're in the, they're in the library. People are like, just, yeah. we're trying to study. Will y'all take that shit to a bedroom or a hotel well, room? Well, or yeah, you're like, you, you, you guys are clearly overcompensating because your relationship is falling apart. So yeah. not, turn it down. Well, yeah. Are you sure they couple, weren't retarded? These two, they're having poignant moments where there's a lull in the conversation and they're just staring into each other's eyes. And it's like, I'm sorry, there's no moment that I don't, that this movie sells me that they don't both know each is into the other. They and are. yet the movie wants us to believe it anyway. I mean, did she have a lobotomy? Did part of her brain get cut Well, did both of them? I mean, you know? that's a, yeah. well, like, he, he's totally into her completely and she is totally into him, but she's the one who keeps backing away. And she backs away so much that when her bitch friend Darcy comes in, that's the Kate Hudson character we're talking about. I mean, this girl, 
you, <laughs> she she is loud. She is obnoxious. She is narcissistic. She is she's she's Corey in chick form. I mean, yeah. You know what? I looked at this movie and I was just like, wow, I would really love to be the Jennifer Goodwin character, but something tells me. I'm Kate Hudson. <laughs> Corey, Corey, I will pay you enough of a compliment to say that even you aren't as obnoxious as this yeah, chick. Yeah, no, that's very I true. I mean, she's a party. No, no, no doubt about it. If you just if you want to go out drinking, she's somebody you want to go with because she's going to be loud and funny and attractive. She over. wants to have fun. Yeah. yeah. She, she's she, the girl she, you meet at the bar and you take home for one night yeah. and then you do not take home. Oh, yeah. she's, she's the girl that you're always it. looking for at the bar usually. She's, yeah. she's somebody like she, you want her to be in your posse because she will mm-hmm. attract people over. Oh, she'll yeah. buy, got other guys buying drinks for the whole table. And really, she's one of those girls you're friends with for like a month maybe two yes. until she does something so heinous to piss you off that Which she like, will do fuck that not bit. only will she do something heinous to piss you off but when you call her on it she won't acknowledge it she'll be like oh yeah i'll come on. oh come on get over that you know yeah. you know get over it pussy yeah yeah, yeah. Now, she'll now, be let's, that girl. let's move on to something in, else. In, in 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 this relationship darcy is the alpha female yes mm-hmm. and you know, and so <laughs> say the least and, and rachel does nothing but follow her she's insecure she's not confident and I have to give. See now, here's the here's where the movie missteps for me. Very early on, they want you to feel like Darcy is a bitch, and she is. But the mistake they make is that Darcy comes in and tries to like start a relationship between Rachel and Dex. She comes in and says, "Dex, ask Rachel out on a date because she's not going to do it." And Dex looks over at her and he's like, "Well, it was all out in the open." And Rachel's just like. <laughs> Why don't you go out with Darcy? You know, it's like, are you fucking retarded? And then Dex is just kind of like, oh, oh, I don't know what to do here. And it's like, mm. man, some, at this point in real life, somebody would have spoke up. Now, for after that, Darcy is so controlling that she can even like hypnotize Dex into going out with yeah, her. Because <laughs> there's not a moment in this film that you think he even likes her. Right. Much less yeah, is no, no reason. Uh, like, didn't make any like sense. loves her because yeah. she's a bitch all the time and he sees it. Mm-hmm. It's constantly rolling mm-hmm. his eyes. You're like, how did they end up together? Yeah, it, it, makes, took, no, it yeah. makes no sense. It seems too forced. But you're right. There is a pivotal scene where these two characters who have been like doing their puppy dog stupid shit – they're giving it. They they are given a chance by that girl's friend to go look. You obviously you guys are in each other. Fucking do something about it right now. Here's your opportunity. But they want her to be the villain later on the movie to the point where, hey, six years later, <laughs> that relationship that we couldn't even understand got off how it got off the ground. What spark was there? Well. They're engaged now, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and they're about to get married. So you can see what's happening here. Uh, Rachel is forced to look back and with regret. Why did she actually miss that moment with going out with Dex? Well, and it, things it, become complicated when they do have that moment alone six years later when Dex is in a relationship about to get married and they trip up and they end up sleeping with each other because Dex obviously still has a thing for Rachel. He can like hide this from his fiance, but yet he cannot come out and say, well, I love can, you early on. He can on. hide it because his fiance, Kate Hudson, is so self-absorbed. She doesn't notice anything about anybody else except herself. Yeah, right. The, the thing is, a lot of what makes this movie not work, like it's just so obvious to me, is that because all the characters are so pretty. The fact that 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 Rachel and that Dex are so good looking, it's hard to believe that neither one of them would speak up and, and get together and that Kate Cousin could swoop in. Now, if Dex was a nerd and 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 uh, Rachel was a nerd girl who or was kind of fat. Then everything you would go like, okay, I see how this, this dynamic works because Darcy is that one that's so uber hot. That's why Dex goes for her. You know, he can't help himself. He's a, he's a man. But that's but you look at these people. They're all so pretty. They're all so smart. They're all rich. They're, they're vacationing in the Hamptons. Yeah. You, it doesn't make sense on any emotional level why they're having these kind of problems. That's- there's there's no reason why they wouldn't speak up. It's yeah. it's only lucky that you have John Krasinski who comes who plays Rachel's male platonic best friend. Who's constantly the voice of the audience yelling at every, at least yelling at her, saying, "Hey, stop being a douche and speak up for yourself." And you know what's and annoying about that character is that he is so obviously the gay friend, except they can't make him gay right, because they found movie. a joke around him supposedly being yeah. gay, yeah. which is the only way to in- inject yeah. humor into those scenes. Yeah. You know what? I liked his character too until they completely betrayed yeah, him they did. towards they the do. end. They, they did, did. yeah, like, because wow, I, they just they just totally yeah. screwed up everything. It, it that, all the goodwill we because I was really waiting for that character to go do you realize what you're doing is completely fucked up yeah i mean yeah. really just stop and think about it which that never happened with that character which i was like okay now now the movie has just convinced me that all these characters are completely fucking shallow that's the problem. Human that's it. like it says nothing yeah. to do with how they look they're yeah. all so so self-absorbed mm-hmm. yeah. this is like narcissus the movie yeah. every mm-hmm. single one of them is doing what they're talking shit about other people doing mm-hmm. i mean all they think about is themselves 
Wells, I'm wondering who are we supposed to actually like here? I, yeah. I could deal with a movie like that if somebody acknowledged it, but yeah. they all seem to think like they they, they push this agenda with Rachel, with Jennifer Goodwin's character, and I, I I really like Jennifer Goodwin a lot. That's why it hurts me to see this happening. But they push this, this thing with her character where she's the nice girl, and you know, hey, being nice is a virtue, but hey, not speaking up for yourself that's not a virtue. That's mm-hmm. just dumb. Yeah. But they're like, well, because she's so sweet. That's why this happens. And the whole uh, angle of like, you know, you're saying like your childhood friend, how could you do this? You know what? You're supposed to lose most of your childhood friends. You, you grow up, you grow apart, and that's just the, the order of life. I mean, in, a, in, in real human beings, the only way you would still be friends with Darcy is if she just wouldn't leave you alone. Yeah. <laughs> you and, and you look, tried your best and you couldn't shake her. And let's talk about uh, Dex and Rachel, the fact that he is obviously, once he finds out that she liked him back then, like she admits it. He's obviously been in love with her the whole time. Like, uh, Darcy is his second choice, and that's clear immediately. And yet, it's never really acknowledged that maybe right off the bat we should cancel the wedding. It's like, well, maybe we should explore to see where it goes. No, dude, you guys fucked, and you're clearly in love with each other, and you're not, there's no doubt about that to each other or to the audience. Mm-hmm. Fucking call off the wedding. Yeah. I can't believe we're supposed mm-hmm. to have any sympathy for yeah. them after that. Well, here's the problem with, well, several problems that we mentioned already, but another problem with the film is that, look, this is a movie. I can accept a lot of this absurd shit if, again, these characters weren't just acting totally just idiotic. It, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it, idiotic. And, Asinine, and, 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 not and, funny. And so if, if there was something where they, I felt like they suddenly realized they were into each other. And, you know, they, it, or before it was like, uh, they, didn't, they, they really made me believe that n- one person was scared to say something, which they didn't. They handled no. that mm-hmm. terribly, terribly, terribly. But mm-hmm. if they had made that believable and then years later they realized that they were made, that they were really made for each other, I could see this as some sort of romantic comedy of errors. But the thing is, once they do sleep with each other, they start to continue to do the stupidest shit I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. uh, Dex, uh, it's, look, he's having an affair at this point. And that sympathy that we that we could have had for him, where he realizes this is the right one. Well, the movie just spends a long time with him just treating this like it's a cheap affair. I don't believe that they're in love at all. Right. I, I, he treats her like she's some sort of floozy, to, and 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 doesn't look. He can't even handle his affair. Right. It's like they go out to the. He invites her out to the ham. I mean, uh, yeah, the, the, to the Hamptons every time they go out there, yeah. and it's like. Wait a minute. This is the woman that you were having an affair with. Why would you? It, why would? And I can understand if Darcy invited her out there, but mm-hmm. he's telling her, "Why don't you come out to the Hamptons with us?" Yeah, Just, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, yeah. Which, which makes you think, why? Okay, like, like, why? Why are you allowing this to happen? Like, and, and that's the thing. Okay, the big. Okay, the relationship between. Um, Kate Hudson and the other chick, uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 Jennifer Goodwin. Jennifer Goodwin. Yeah, I mean, at the beginning of the film, they show pretty much what their relationship is all about. And to where it's like, okay, this girl may be a bitch, but she's throwing you a birthday party at this fucking classy ass joint. She's doing all these nice things for you. Yeah, she may be a little self centered, what? But she's still doing these things out of friendship. You know, they have a really nice scene together where it's like, you've been my childhood friend. I've always gone out of the way not to make sure to make sure people never hurt you. I don't think there's anybody who knows me like you. Not even Dex does. Not like you do. It's like you. Totally accept me. Lars, where are you saying all this? I don't know. But when you're getting married, you start thinking about all your big moments, and you're in all of mine. It doesn't justify what this chick does to her to her bitchy friend to to justify the whole cheating angle to justify the whole well I was in love with the first angle it, and it really just it, it takes you out of the fucking movie. I don't to- know. I'm I'm apart from you on that. I thought that they made I thought they made a big point of showing that that party had nothing to do with Rachel. Yeah, yeah I, all about I, I get that. I get that. But I, still, it's like she's. She's doing things for her friend mm. that nobody else. Yeah, I, I don't do. know why you yeah. have the sympathy I, in that character. I I mean, no, I, I, it's not. It's not so much I have so much sympathy. It's just the fact that they didn't give me a real reason to hate 
Kate Hudson's character at all. At the end. No, at the yeah. end it's almost no, like, but you know what? I thought that ending was the biggest fucking cop-out oh, I've so ever it, seen it, in a movie. Well, the problem, the it's reason like they realized they didn't give you enough reasons. So the reason like, it's a yeah. cop-out is that and the fact that both of the main characters were supposed to be rooting to get to, uh, together. Like you said, Corey, that the guy wasn't in love with her. I disagree. I think he totally was. The problem is both him and her are cowards to the hugest degree. And I'm like, wow, fuck these no, people. I, I, no, I didn't say that he wasn't in love with her. It was clear that he was... They just never did anything in those characters' actions to make me feel like they were in love to the point mm-hmm. where they were putting everything at risk like this. I mean, you know, judging by how Kate Hudson's character is and judging by how, you know, these two characters were supposed to feel for each other, I can totally see the situation happening. We believe it, that they, yeah. it shows us they're in love with each other by showing them make moon eyes at yeah, each other. Yeah, exactly. That's but, about and it. that's it. But mm-hmm. see... This is the kind of movie where, and Leon, you're right. It's all about pretty people. It's all about locale. It's all about we have a central core characters that we have to keep throwing together in situations where they would not be together. You have all these characters where, it, again, if they made it believable, that's fine. But there's nothing to make me believe like all these characters with the problems that they're having have to be out together at the Hamptons all the time. Yeah. Have to be going out to eat all the time like this. And everywhere they go... It's scenery. Everywhere they go, it's people who look just as vapid as they do. Nothing against pretty people or anything, but it's like, wow, this is uh, this is like watching a Charlie Brown cartoon. There are no adults around here. There's nobody be over the age of 40 that they hang out with. Even the movie calls itself out on it. At one point, like John Krasinski shows up at the uh, Hamptons place, and, and Kate Hudson goes, what are you doing here? You weren't even invited. And it was like sort of, wah, wah. Mm-hmm. It's like, but that didn't answer the question. Why is he there? But that's the yeah. thing. He keeps <laughs> yeah. showing up with them. At, like, he has no reason to be out there now I thought he was a ghost at one point he's there because he's he's the only likable character in the movie he's not even really likable if you take him put put that character in any other movie you'd hate him he's crowbarred he's crowbarred in there yeah but but it's like when he's on screen I felt some relief it's like finally so somebody who's actually genuinely funny and Mm -hmm. is delivering you know the real knowledge of what's going on here and you know what I've been that guy that guy for some girls I know who was stupid and when I get to that point I'd be yelling at them like why the fuck are you doing this yep. it's just it's just frustrating well you know then that's me yelling at you telling will you fucking just spell it out for these people because obviously they're not getting your little hints about well, but, what right. they should be doing but, but that character every time I saw him I, I liked him but at the same time, I'm like, why, why is this guy losing his balls every time when they're really getting a discussion about the situation at hand? It's like he wants to pretend like his friend, who you know, the, the girl who he's friends with, uh, isn't doing anything wrong, really. I mean, I, I didn't get that. Well, he, he, he just hates Kate Hudson so much. He's like, mm-hmm. And the thing is, you know, it's, it's perfectly human to have that friend who's, the, yeah, they're, they're the alpha male, whatever, that run over you. You won't, you won't confront them directly. But in an indirect way, you know, sleeping with the fiancé, that's a way of getting back at them. It's, or or just like blowing it off, you know. Some way you let the moral slide go because you get it gets back at them, and you finally get what you want. I completely understand that. But staying in the situation, there's no reason she shouldn't have looked at that and go like, "This is way too messy." Yeah, yeah it, I, it, it, you I, you got to get this straight. It's more, before I come in. It's more the writing of these. Like I said in movies, I see these kind of situations all. I mean, we all do. We yeah, see all kind of sure. variations. It's of usually situations. on Jerry Springer when it yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's more like, it's more like something old. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Nice. And I could have used something blue. Well, we we see these kind of situations exaggerated all the time, and it's and it's fine if they can make it work. But I'm look, you know, like this is the the old sitcom trick of like taking all these characters and have to and having to have them travel together from place to place to place when it doesn't often make sense for them to do that. You're right. Uh, 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 John Kr- Kravinsky, whenever he that's his name, right? Krasinski. 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 God damn it. Well, uh, he you know for him showing up out at the Hamptons every time when there's no need for him to be there, they could have simply explained it by him saying, you know, uh, and we're talking about the Jennifer Goodwin character. He said, look, I'm here just because these people are assholes and I'm the only friend you really have. I'm here to look out for you. Would have made even better sense if he was gay and been like that girl. I'm out here looking out for you, but they don't explain it that way. They, they explain it like, why are you out here again? Oh, well, we're out here again because I have to have this lame joke about me hiding my homosexuality, which I'm not really gay. Yeah, so I don't have to sleep with again a girl <laughs> I accidentally slept with. Yeah. Once. And mm-hmm. I'm going to explain it by saying that my pipes are broken. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Yeah, this my is, apartment flooded. Yeah, my apartment what? flooded. That's why. And that's why I've showed up here. That's again. why I drove all the way 
out to the Hamptons to hang out yeah. with a bitch I can't stand. Exactly. But we all know that <laughs> I'm one of the likable characters in the movie, and that's why they continue to have me here. You know, and like even that character is flawed. Uh, the, he's uh, lying to that girl who's obviously, you know, at least a little bit mentally disturbed, but she's not unlikable. Yeah, there's a and, subplot in here where he's like uh, slept with this girl that he's totally running away from. And to keep hiding from her, he's forced at one point to say, oh, instead of coming out and saying, I don't want that thing to do with these, like, you know what? I'm gay. Uh, and he's and really a, not. A perfect moment. It's not uncomfortable. It's one of those things. It's just the two of them. It's like, would have been really easy to deal with to go, you know what? I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm but just not into you. Even it's that, like, really, this is the guy who's bitching at this chick, his friend, the whole movie. You just got to say it. You got to be honest. It would have been a good yeah. contract. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. That's the mm. thing that he does. He's like telling her, giving her all this advice, and yet he can't come out and say, you know, I'm just not into you. And it takes a darker side as the story goes on because we realize like he's being shitty to somebody too. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just at some point you, where you begin to want to like these characters, because there are moments in the movie where early on I was like, ah, you know, this is, I, I like John Krasinski. He's making me laugh. Even if he's not, I, I don't buy him showing up every moment. Uh, Kate Hudson. Yeah. She's a bitch, but she has moments where she's cracking me up. Really? But yeah, there was some, yeah, there was some moments and don't ask me to remember because this kind of movie I'm not, <laughs> so you I know, remember at the mo I just remember that. like I, I chuckled at some parts in this and it was okay. I think I but, laughed once when I was picturing me throttling her with my hands and choking her to death, <laughs> pitching my thumbs, digging into her trachea as her eyeballs started bulging out of her head. And I said, no more fucking Kate Hudson romantic films. No more fucking Kate Hudson romantic yeah. films. But you know what? Uh, it made, Kate, but it Kate made Hudson me laugh a little bit, you know, but it's like I... I Looking at it, I was just like, uh, at, when it was all over, I, I hate all these people. I hate the people they hang out with. I hate the extras that I see in the background with them hanging out with. They ain't even saying shit. And I really hate this guy, Dex, for not being able to like handle his pimp game because... Somebody man. tell him, like, man, you don't shit where you eat. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to invite this girl out here and make eyes of her in front of your fiance that, right there? I was mm -hmm. watching that dude. I'm like, amateur hour, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You're an amateur hour. And on top of that, yeah. this fool goes around getting girls are throwing themselves at him literally yeah, yeah. he he goes to uh he goes to like get a drink at the bar and there's this woman who just scouting him this look like i'm mad because you ain't fucked me you know it's like, <laughs> i'm like wow this guy you mean to tell me look i think jennifer goodwin is beautiful you know i she, think she's you know what she she's not like somebody who'd be on your top 10 list but if any of you guys were dating her i'd be jealous oh yeah, yeah and i you know, look man we'd be lucky to have her but the kind of women they had <laughs> and they were throwing themselves at him in a movie. I'm just kind of like, again, I cannot believe this character because even though he's being a dumbass in this situation, the way you have women, beautiful women, throwing yeah. themselves in him, he should be a total fucking dick. <laughs> he should be an asshole. Well, but he's very but he's, noble. He's got the best friend who's the, the obnoxious dick who chases women all the time mm -hmm. to a, a buffoonish level. He's a cartoon he's character. He's a cartoon yeah. character. And his arc and the way it plays out is so utterly predictable. I mean, the it moment is. they introduced him, I knew what they were going to do with him. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, yep, there it is. Really? Because I was like, I just figured there's no way they'll do that. No, like, I totally said this uh, is that kind of movie and this is what they're going to do. And sure right. enough, it's exact. I was like, yep, they went and there. It was, it was fucking stupid when they yeah. did it. I mean, it this, movie, this movie just seemed like shit on top of more shit on top of more shit. And it was all going to come crumbling down. But to you, the only way this movie would have been good if they had a very realistic, hard, hard fucking like facts life ending with this movie where – it all ends up in a big fucking exactly. mess. And everyone walks away unhappily ever after. Yeah, that's, that's exactly that's right. And that's what that's I fucking that's want. If you're going to present this kind end. of shit, if you're going to present this kind of shit to me, give it to me in an honest way where I can buy it. Not this fucking fairy tale bullshit about how the, the this story is going to wrap up because I ain't buying it. Any any asshole walking in that theater buying that shit. If your girlfriend takes you to this fucking movie and tells you this is a good fo movie, she she like you fucking dump her. She's cheating on you. Yeah, she's fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking that's you. That's her way of yeah, telling you. Yeah, she's <laughs> fucking you over. She's fucking your friends, and she's probably fucking your dad too. So yeah, get the fuck out of that. Or but, you know what? A zombie apocalypse halfway through would have worked to help this movie. She's probably too. fucking. Totally I, I, I don't think it would. No, but I, I, don't I, I just say like this movie. It, it was it was a, a low rental for me early on. And I thought it had pretensions of maybe moving up to just a rental. Like it could have gone there, um, but there's that that one two punch at the end that where it just went bullshit. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, right at the end. Yeah. So you'd say your final rating is fuck you. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's exactly where I am because I was at low rental at points skirting around a rental, but, but the last twenty minutes or so were like, wow, they really did everything they could to just completely ruin any goodwill I had yeah. left towards this film. And yeah, it is a fuck you. I was angry walking out of it. Yeah. Do I have to give you an answer? <laughs> yeah, I really you don't have, have to, to make it long. Just, <laughs> say, just <laughs> no. say fuck you because you know that's what you want to say. It, it's it's a big fuck you. Yeah, it, it was ridiculous. Okay. Uh, 
Matt Nag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no shit. No full price. <laughs> I sympathize with these characters. Yeah. Even though I was, I felt like these Citizens characters were real. Citizens of Spill. Matt Nag. I go again to find another terrible movie and give it too good of a rating. <laughs> so I, I, uh, Captain Matt That's the only way we'll get you. to these screenings. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, there, there is one scene in the movie where I thought someone came in and summed everything up perfectly, but the movie kept going. It was Jeff Pearson. He's an actor who played uh, the Dex, Dex's father in the movie. <laughs> and he comes in and he just tells him. I mean, that movie, that scene doesn't even last 30 seconds. It's a minute. He comes yeah. in he comes, and he says, Dad, and, and I like the way they do it because you think it's going to be a sensitive moment. Because Dex is like, Dad, have you ever, look, whatever's going on with that girl, you stop it right now. Yeah. <laughs> we are not that kind of people. Mm-hmm. In scene, yeah, yeah. which, <laughs> which you know, what? that was the best yeah. character, and that's and that and that's what that fucking guy should have been telling his friend, and from the right from the get go, that should have been yep. the only fucking con- conversation they had. Period. Yeah, and you know, Co-host, you're a robot. You don't understand that life amongst humans is messy. Yeah, well, it's complicated. These, these things, that's why I can't wait. To, like, that's why I can't wait to destroy you because you guys give me such a big fucking headache because you, you do you, so you, many fucking you, stupid things you shouldn't be doing. Like, if you're gonna cheat, shut the fuck up and cheat. Go over there and do it. Don't do it in front of your fucking friend. All right, and don't be cheating. You know. What? Well, look, you, you, you got your moral code on a floppy disk. Yeah, well, look, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. When does Skynet become aware again? <laughs> yeah, I just want to know when to go out to basketball. When it's down. breathing down <laughs> your neck. <laughs> like I said, listen, if you're going to be a pimp, be a pimp. Don't, exactly. Don't, 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 be, the pimp. don't be the sensitive pimp where you like, got, you know, you get through this like smacking bitches, doing yeah. wrong, cheating, you know, yeah. uh, going out there, doing all kind of vile things and come back and like have your drink with a friend like, I'm so wrong for doing this. <laughs> exactly. You know, do your shit like yeah. you're going to do yeah. your shit. All now right? you're just don't being... For me. Now you're just being arrogant and you're going to piss off everyone who's fucking up you, by, by watching you doing all the dumb shit that you, you would be like, like yeah. once I once I said try to do that shit when you're in the mafia yeah. try yeah. to say, do that what shit. you're saying <laughs> is you're just defending K. Hudson's character basically who is that character I'm a pimp that's right I am I'm a bitch I, I, and I'll be a bitch I Fuck told you. you in the beginning I defend her because she came in and said listen for these characters here, and for the audience I'm trying to do the right thing but they're obviously idiots. So fuck them. I'm yeah. going to let them do them. And I'm going to do me. That's where, that's where I differ. Because for me, I'm like, yeah, she's a bitch. And I hope she burns in hell. Well, you know what? You know, it, it, Corey brings up an interesting point. She is a bitch. But she's honest. She, I mean, well, okay. Exactly. Honest. She's honest about who she is. At least she she's wearing like, a big sign that says, yeah. I'm a cunt. And I will fuck you over at a moment. Which stuff. is why I respected that character. Because I'm like, you know what? That's why, that's why, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm yelling here. Because it's like nothing she did really... It wasn't out of there, character. There, there, she, no, she told you she it was wasn't out of character, did. and and the consequences didn't add up to to that. You know what what her best friend did. But the real I, question here is, what does Corey give the film? Oh, that's right. Oh, oh it's Mad Nag. It, I thought he gave it. I thought it was Mad <laughs> No, I know what he said. Not uh, you, uh, you do realize that people on the site even saying that joke is old right now. <laughs> Are they? Yeah, Show so me well, these people. Well, it was one time I somebody know. came in, like you know me. I let it roll off my back. I think it's funny, but somebody came in. I gave something Mad Nag. Somebody says Captain Mad Nag strikes again and the person above them said mm. old joke strikes again <laughs> <laughs> so I was so up you, there laughing I was so, like so you found one guy on Spill who has an opinion <laughs> <laughs> one <laughs> I think they all got opinions well, two counting you <laughs> do you know that you do know Osama Bin Laden died yesterday <laughs> we've had a lot of really? opinions come out <laughs> I give his death a mad name by the way uh, <laughs> no, I man, it was a full price uh, I, I get this movie price. yeah no I get this movie some bullshit man I mean it, it, in the, in probably I don't go lower because because of the characters that I did like, like John Krasinski, who came in later and made me a character that he didn't like. So, I mean, that I, a character that I didn't like about him. So, yeah, you know, that's it. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish there was more to say. I wish there was some funny things to say. It's just, you leave out of it just kind of angry. I know what to say. Mm-hmm. Hey, let's end this and let a play a play. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you let her win? Hey, that's what Darcy does. Darcy wins. She always has. Rachel, you deserve to be happy. To help me write my vows. Darcy? No. What the? Wow.